Hello, let me say welcome to the very first virtual lab tour of Insect Conference this year 2020. My name is Andre Martin, I'm working at Chemnitz University of Technology at the Professorship Micromanufacturing Technology and I would like to introduce you the lab for the chat-based electrochemical machining technologies. So please follow me. So here we are in the lab for the jet-based electrochemical machining technologies. We have here on the one hand a jet ECN setup and opposite there is a setup for jet PEP. So for jet ECM we were working on several research projects funded by the DFG for example where we analyzed the basic um, removals of jet ECM and uh, we advanced this technology to machining of, for example, hard metals and so on. Um, on the other hand, we were working on an EU-funded project called Microman, which was an MSCA project, an uh, innovative training network, where one of our colleagues was working on novel control strategies to uh, control the removal of chat ECM. And on the other hand, we are working on a DFG project called LOCO, where we are analyzing localized oxidations by analyzation of aluminum surfaces. So please let me first introduce uh, the chat ECM setup. Here we have a dual piston pump, which supplies us the electrolyte through a capillary to the chat ECM model. Here we have the machining area which is set up on a granite table with a granite portal. And you can see the 3x linear stages, which is the x stage, z stage and the y stage directly below the machining chamber. Here you can see the uh, electrical measurement systems and the supply of electric uh, power. Of course, the control for the three axes and our custom control software based on national instruments left view. Okay, for today's experiment we chose an additive manufactured steel 316L. Um, we are machining it with a nozzle diameter of 200 microns. You can see here the microscope image of the nozzle and the workpiece surface. We are machining with a nozzle velocity of 2 millimeters per second and with a voltage of 60 volts and we have a working distance of 200 microns and an electrolyte supply of 15 milliliters per minute. And the electrolyte itself is composed of sodium nitrate with a concentration of 30%. So now uh, let me introduce you Franz who is working as a student on our professorship and working on the chat ECM technology. He is now going to start the experiment, um, please. And he's now starting the electrolyte pump, as you might hear. And second, the supply of compressed air. So now you can see the nozzle moving and uh, the removal. The nozzle is moving over the workpiece surface with a constant velocity of two millimeters per second. So we are working on further developments of the chat ECM technology in order to get this technology more flexible uh, by incorporating more axes like turning axes for example. Okay, so now let me introduce you the chat PEP setup and technology. We were working on this technology within a research project funded by the Federal Ministry of Education and Research and managed by the project agency, project management agency Karlsruhe. Together with uh, two German partners, which was Leukart, who developed the process energy source for this setup, and with Beckmann Institute in Chemnitz, who developed the electrolyte for this technology.
Hello and welcome to the chat prep setup. My name is Susanne Kritzke and I'm a research scientist. Um, this is the gantry setup of our chat prep setup. We have four axes uh, for the, the movement of the nasal system. Our setup is controlled with the software uh, from National Instruments. Um, for this, all devices have specific interfaces. Um, our electrolyte um, system consists of an uh, electrolyte reservoir, then we have a pump, and this supply the electrolyte to the nasal system. Um, and we measure our current and voltage with digital multimeters. And our process energy source is from Alpha Schaltanlagen System Technik GmbH and so we can use voltages up to 600 volts. For the experiments we used a nasal diameter of 5 mm and a working distance of 6 mm. Our electrolyte has a temperature of 80 degrees and the electrolyte flow velocity is 250 ml per minute. Our electrolyte consists of ammonium sulfate. Now I will show you the experiments for check PEP and then I start the temperature control and then the process energy source. The start of the process is characterized by a high current peak up to 22 amperes. We have a glow in the center of the, the ablation area. So we are working on further developments on this technology for a reliable initiation of the process and in order to get uh, the process continuously working. So that's it for the laboratory of the chat-based ECM technologies. And now let me introduce you the laboratory for immersion-based technologies, which is guided by Mr. Petzold.